Hey what's up guys this is BMB and a new learning tutorial I posted already a video about controlling DC motors and I showed you how to control large DC motors and I said that I will post another video to show you how to control stepper motors so this is what we will do today we will play a bit with some stepper motors so let's get started let's start first with this short introduction to understand what stepper motors are and why we need them for so a stepper motor also known as a step motor or stepping motor belongs to the brushless DC electric motors with a specificity of driving a full rotation into a number of equal steps or we better call them equal angles. The motor's axis position can be controlled to move and hold at these angles without having a feedback sensor. And also due to its high torque capacity, this kind of motors could maintain stable the motor axis on hold when it carries a heavy charge. Talking about the two phases stepper motor category, we have the bipolar motors comes with four wires to control the coil's power polarity and the unipolar motors that comes with five or six wires for the control. These coils are used to control the steps performed by the motor following some polarity sequences. A typical driving pattern for a two coils bipolar stepper would be A+, plus, B+, plus, A-, minus, and B-. Minus. Keep this in mind because we will need it later. We can define the coil's patterns using a multimeter by measuring the resistance between the stepper connection wires. And it should measure some resistance between each two coil's ends. In order to make the stepper moves, a sequence of power polarity should be sent from a controller through the stepper driver and every time the sequence change, the stepper perform a step in a precise direction with a constant speed which is the sequence speed so the faster the sequences move, the faster the stepper rotate. Back into the control driver, basically some transistors to control the current flow through the stepper coils. In our tutorial, we will use the A4988 driver which allows us to easily control direction and speed of the stepper and could provide up to 35 volts and 2 amps output control for the motor. The driver will be connected to the Arduino Nano board which is the heart of our control part. Moving to the circuit diagram, I used EasyEDA platform to create this schematic by the way guys, this video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is the largest PCB manufacturer in China and I discovered that these guys has just released a platform community hub on Hacks.io website to more engage the community so you can join me there through the link that you can find in the description down below. Back into our circuit diagram as it shows here, we have the Arduino board connected to the stepper motor through the A4988 driver. About the driver, we will need 3 pins to connect to Arduino which are the enable, the step and direction pins. About the driver output, we will connect each pin to the appropriate coil end. One important thing is connecting the sleep and reset pins to each other, otherwise the motor will be trembling and won't move, and we will demonstrate this later. About the control program, no library is required for this task, so just some pin mode and digital write functions. First we set the pins and we configure them as outputs. And we set the initial value of the enable output to low to activate the stepper motor driver. About the direction pin, once we set it to low, the stepper will move forward. And for high, the stepper will spin on the backward direction. Now every pulse on the direction pin will push the motor to make a step. And in this code, our motor will perform 1000 steps forward, then it will spin 1000 steps backward. Do not get confused on steps and full rotation because a step on our motor is 1.6 angle degree, and a full rotation is 360 angle degrees. 
so our stepper will almost spin for 5 rotations in each direction. Here is our circuit ready, now we upload the code, then we plug in the external power supply for the stepper and it should be applied on V-mode input pin. Do not forget to connect the reset pin and the sleep pin to each other or your stepper will be moving like this. Following this tutorial, you are able to control and test your stepper motors coming from electronic devices like 3D printers. Let me know through the command section what other videos you want me to make for you. Do not forget to thumb this video if you like it and to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome tutorials. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BMB from Megadas. See you next time.